What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today we're gonna go over how and why to mine Pearl, and this is a new cryptocurrency based on ET hash, and we'll get into it in a second. If you are looking for a good pool to check out with no fees, please check out coins.sonofatech.com. Seeing as we are able to move our infrastructure over to our own stack, we now do not need to charge any fees to pay for the server costs. This is going to be passed on to you with the new no fee policy that we'll have on the pool and if you want to donate you can go to coins.signofatech.com and click the Monero donation miner at the top and leave it running on your CPU which pays out to a SOT donation Monero wallet and that's what we're doing to uh, make up for the lost revenue I guess on the fees and part of this is going to be that we need your help to get the pools mining the Sumo pool is stable, but it's still on a VPS solution. Therefore, it does have a half percent fee on there. The rest have zero percent and that one's stable and paying out. And we have vert paying out confirmed as well. So definitely head on over there. If you have a suggestion for the pools, head on over to our discord by going to sonofatech.com and clicking join discord, go into the mining channel and let us know what coins you'd like us to spin up for a pool. Other than that, we're getting very close to 10K, so awesome work on that. If you haven't subscribed, help me get there faster by clicking subscribe. And if you guys want to keep up to date with all of my videos, be sure to hit the bell down below. Without further ado, let's talk about Pearl. Alrighty, welcome back. So Pearl is an ASICs resistant ET hash based coin and that's nothing special in and of itself. We've seen plenty of these in the past. What makes it special is that it's the first master node system on ET hash. And not only does it have a master node system, but it also allows you to mine it, which is kind of good on both sides. It's pretty sweet. The other awesome part about it is that you are going to be able to mine and then create from the coins you find a master node and kind of double up on your investment there, which is pretty neat. Here's the problem though. You will, if you want to get a master node, have a total of 20,000 pearl, which at the current cost would run you about $8,000 and that can be too steep for some people so we're definitely going to cover the mining right now moving over to the desktop we're going to take a look at all of the things we need first off we're going to need a wallet so if you head on over to pearl.io in the top right hand of the web browser will be the download wallet option. Clicking that will bring up a sidebar with all of your options for the wallet. There is a web wallet. Of course, I don't recommend those. So we're gonna go with the local wallet for the Oyster for Windows. Now the other option is heading on over to Cryptopia and mining directly to an exchange. If you guys need help with that, we'll go over that in maybe a different exchange video. But for now, just to get started, this is the safest bet. The miner, we haven't actually done this since you beak, but since it's ET hash, we have one of the better mining options out, which is Claymore's dual Ethereum AMD GPU miner. And that's going to allow us to use both nvidia and amd in the same rig if we so desire we have a linux option and of course the windows option we're going to be showing you guys how to do it on windows 10 so let's get that downloaded as well since we're impatient human beings i'm going to go ahead and hop on to my miner to go over how to get the miner configured and started up starting with the wallet. So once you have downloaded your wallet, you can just go to your downloads folder and you'll see the wallet sitting in here as a zip file. It'll be this oyster-windows.zip. I copied mine and put it on the desktop in a Perl wallet folder. And then you right click and use extract all if you do not have 7-zip or 7-zip and extract files. Once they're extracted, it'll be under a win-unpacked folder and double clicking into that, you will be looking for the Perl Oyster Light exe for convenience we're going to right click it and create a shortcut and then drag that shortcut to 
the desktop. As you see, I already have one open. It'll wait and make you sync with the entire block initially, so give it some time for that. And then you will be presented with this after entering a brief password. Entering the password will look something like this if I click add account. This is the screen you would be kind of presented with and you would enter your password here. We currently have a main account and we're going to go ahead and use this one for our example. If we click in right here is going to be our wallet address. So we'll want to copy that and save it for later. Once you have downloaded Claymore, I recommend just bringing it into a Claymore folder and once again, right clicking it and extracting all here. Once you've done that, you can double click in and you should be presented with a sample bat file that looks like this that says start.bat. I recommend copying it and then renaming it pearl.bat just so you keep all of your batch files for Claymore separated. You see that I have a music coin here and a Ubique as well. This start is just a basic Ethereum for me right now, which I should with my own policies be renaming it to Ethereum, but I'm not. Other times I also like to go ahead and denote it with a full pool as well if I'm trying out different pools but for now we're using the soak pool so if we right click and go into edit you'll see a few things first of all this is just setting all of our GPU usage which I'll leave in the description below and then the rest of this is what we're going to be taking a look at starting things off this portion is going to tell the batch file to look for or the command prompt to look for the executable within the same folder that the batch file is located this one right here we will actually delete for the example this one would essentially denote which gpus you want to target in this case i've just been targeting the amd gpus but we're going to delete that for now here are the things you're going to need you're going to want mode one and then all coins one this enables all coins other than ethereum so this one's very important the m port you will not need either as this denotes the port 88 in case i'm using the default port for a different management console so that's why i have 88 here but you do not need that and i will delete it out of the example for you guys next we have all pools expanse now what this allows you to do is if you have cards with less than two gigabytes of vram then you will still be able to pay the dev fee as opposed to having to pay the dev fee in ethereum which would make you not be able to mine with cards with less than two gigs of vram so this is important for cards that are below that threshold you can do no fee but it works out to if you do no fee you making less money than if you go with this workaround the dash e pool is going to specify the pool to find our pools we're just going to have you guys head on over to pearl.sonofatech.com and you can grab the pool address from here you will not need the http in this case with the claymore miner so you will just copy the url plus the port number and paste it in this section next we have the wallet and this is what we were talking about earlier you will open your wallet and copy this address right here with a right click or actually this only works with a hotkey so a control c and then coming over here and pasting it in this wallet address area right here next we have the rig name denoted by dash e worker and i have this one set up to rig one once you're complete press Control s to save or click file and save to complete the batch file so once that is complete you will now be able to start mining pearl to do this you'll just go back into your folder from the desktop so in this case it was claymore and then we will just go down and double click the batch file to make things simpler though first you want to create a shortcut by right clicking and clicking create shortcut in your search type run and execute it and then type in shell colon startup and ok this will allow you to place the batch file shortcut that you see that we created here and it's going to replace it into your startup folder so when the miner reboots it will automatically run this batch file which will then start the miner for you without too many issues 
For additional remote management and best practices, I will leave a link to how to build a mining rig playlist up in the corner denoted by the exclamation point in the top right corner. So once this is done, we can double click the miner and start running it. So once it's started running, we'll want to go ahead and right click and say edit, get our wallet address, or you can get it from your wallet directly and copy it. What we're doing this for is to now go ahead and check out our stats and payment history. So if you go to pearl.sonofatech.com, you'll be able to go ahead and at the home tab, paste in your wallet address here and click look up. At this point, it will tell you what your hash rate is, what your average long hash rate is, and the last share that it received. This is to confirm that you are actually mining. Now, if you've been mining for a little bit and you're wondering why you haven't made anything, first of all, this is a very new pool. I have confirmed that it is working and we are finding blocks before we did this video, so feel free to come on over, just be patient. If you're looking for quicker payouts and don't want to wait on us, I completely understand because this is a money-making game. You can head to pearl.minerpool.net and start mining here. Keep in mind, you're gonna have a 1% pool fee as to where we have a 0%. So even though you are finding them slower on ours, you will be able to not have to pay us any fees. The other note here that you might want to check out is if you go to the home tab, you will see that we are using a prop, which which is a proportional shares method of doing this. And this protects us as pool owners, since we have a 0% fee from being in the negative. And because we are doing a 0% fee, this is the payout method that we chose. The minimum payment threshold currently is 0.5 pearl and the payout is 10 pearl per block. So that's how that'll work out. Let's say you had 50% of the shares during that block find, then you would get five pearl paid out. Alrighty, so that's gonna wrap up how to mine pearl at pearl.sonofatech.com. Please come help us and support us by spinning up these no fee pools for you guys. I hope that we can build something with the community and just get a really good, nice stronghold on the mining pool kind of area of things. I know that it's gonna take some time, so I do ask for your patience while we do that. Do keep in mind, if you are looking at mining Sumo coin, that we are getting very frequent payouts and are in the top five pools for mining on that particular coin. So definitely head on over for that. I will also put a link up here on how to mine Sumo coin. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.